hello guys how are you doing welcome to a new video and today we are going to do a kitchen deep cleaning guys and kitchen tour and some dinner ideas guys so welcome to this video so if you're new here please please consider subscribing uh to my premium gang thank you so much guys for always always coming back to my returnees thank you so much for watching again and again uh to my new subscribers thank you so much guys for joining the family i know you are going to enjoy as we as i bring you more content so guys uh with the kitchen we are just going to start with the washing and as for me i always start with the dishes so as you can see there would be food here so guys let's start with the dishes but before we do start with the dishes guys let me show you the condition of my kitchen so it's around 8 30 when i was recording this video uh and this is how the kitchen looks as you can see everything is everywhere so guys this is how the kitchen looks at this point <laughs> and as always guys we start with the dishes so what i'm going to do i'm going to soak the dishes for a short while because as you can see they had served some food in the in the night or in the evening so i'm going to soak them in lots of water then uh, i'll just come after like 30 minutes and start washing Daddy. So guys i'm just going to just lightly rinse the dishes then um i'm going to use some hot water to wash them uh to wash them guys so let's do this together
guys as you can see we are almost done with the dishes so uh this uh, not stickers free and more gives me a lot of work when cleaning so guys let me know how you clean the knot any more non sticks free that you have in your house so guys as you have also seen uh, i usually open up my blender when cleaning so yeah guys uh, you can you can open up the blender or you can put like some warm water and run it uh, like like you are blending something with it uh, that helps it clean faster so let me know how you wash your blender so i open it up that uh that bottom part then i can wash it so easily or as i said you can put some warm water or some just some uh hot water in it add some soap then run it on the like you are blending something with it and it will clean so fast so here guys as you can see uh i am almost um almost done with the dishes i am just cleaning the walls and the window uh that window space there uh another tip that i wanted to share is how to clean your grater so that uh I've, i think you've seen me washing my grater it's that that one over there in the rack so for that one guys when i use it i usually soak it then when it is it is soaked in water it becomes if it is it is garlic or whatever it be, i had grated with it uh it, it softens then i come in with my toothbrush and clean it and that way it makes it so easy for me to clean it so guys doing a voiceover with a baby when they are awake it's so hard like you can just hear me talking to the phone and he just runs here and starts talking himself so you will hear most of his voices in this video i'm sorry for that so here yeah, guys uh we are going to clean the cabinets or oh, is it the counters i think it's the cabinets so yeah guys we are going to clean the cabinets then arrange back our uh, our, our things that were up there like the jam and all that so because of this uh counter spaces being all cabinet spaces uh having to be put some things that we used to eat like the now the jam with the spreads the honey and all that they spill kidogo kidogo then this place spaces get so dirty so guys that is what i'm going to do i'm going to be wiping them i'm just using some warm water and soap to wipe the space clean You, you make me sing about happy things in you. Make my heart ring. I feel just like a spoonful of joy. I twirl like a toy, rushing with sunshine left in my voice. You just make me want to. See ya. So here guys I was just cleaning my drawers. I never use these drawers because they are broken. So uh today I just wanted to put some pieces in there because I want to clear my counter space. It's really busy. So yeah guys and when I was cleaning here guys, see you'll see what was happening with this little guy. So yeah guys.
some dishes that are not mostly used in the kitchen in the top drawer then on the second one I'm going to put this sugar and some salt and some flour because that is where they are and they are not being used for now uh, so yeah guys I'm just trying to arrange this kitchen guys so I'm just looking for someone to come and make for me these drawers so as you can see that one with missing parts they are uh, they are in that cabinet so yeah i just need someone to come and fix them for me so they are not that good quality that's why they have broken around yeah guys and i don't think the landlord would allow us to put our own doors Uh, so after cleaning my my drawers and my counter space or my cabinet up there I'm going to wipe down my what my Containers that were up there the jam and all that and put them back Yeah, guys and put them back because now that space is clean You you may sing about happy things in you make my heart ring I feel just like a spoonful of joy I twirl like a toy rushing with sunshine left in my voice you just make me want to sing I And toasty, I just love it when you got this way of bringing me up, smoothing me out, rounding my edges, trash in the rut. You just make me want to sing. I see you here beside me, it's better than before. You sail me straight to happy With so much more in store I can't contain this stirring urge of singing do 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 You, you make me sing like daydream inspired blue Fresh morning wind Each whisper of you flows round my mind Drifts out of time Bounces to heaven So as, as you've seen guys Filming with the baby is hard So he's just watching cartoon Dad, And as baby. you close the door He comes to the door and starts screaming So you can't just keep him outside that door so I just let it stay open then it comes and pushes pushes it open yeah guys and then it starts pulling you around as you try to film or start put, pulling away the camera guys yeah and those are the joys of motherhood and content creation for sure 
so after wiping the uh, my spices containers my jam containers and all that i'm going ahead and wash my tiled walls you can see there's that part of the kitchen that has tiles so we are going just to wash that clean with the damp cloth guys we have come to my favorite place to clean in this kitchen and it is this cooker so uh, i like cleaning it because even when you give it a light clean guys it becomes just just so clean so yeah i was just going to use some soapy water and uh and nothing else and the and the damp cloth or the, the the towel the small towel guys and as you will see it will turn out so so clean so even uh what i do now as you can you, had, you have seen it add water so because of it add some rice particles and some food particles what i do i just splash some little water on it then leave it for some time then when um i start cleaning it uh after some time it is so easy because those uh those food particles are already uh, already soaked in the water and they are not really stuck on the cooker so it becomes so easy to clean yeah guys and as easy as you'll see it just be a matter of minutes and it is clean so uh some people say they don't like cleaning their cooker so i clean this cooker every day because i just i just like the way it cleans fast yeah guys so let me know how many times do you clean uh, your cooker even in a in a day or in a week so let me know that on the comment section guys
after we are done with the walls we're going to clean this gas guys so i really clean the gas <laughs> i don't think i do as much so as once in a while i just wipe it the dust but uh, it's not always as dusty so after that guys we are going to mop the floors uh, the ones the space that we have created between the uh, the cooker and the wall and where the fridge is and where the water dispenser is camera and uh, for sure this kitchen has uh, down here it has lots of space for storage so if you have a lot of stuff in your house you can really really have lots uh, lots of storage so as you can see under that cabinet now under the sink there is my small gas uh, and, the, and the hot water kettle so yeah there is lots 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 of space that you can store your stuff yeah guys and yeah uh, it has some drainage or uh, near the sink so if you forget your water like running water then uh, you put that um, thing on the sink and the water starts to spill out uh, this this drainage helps a lot with that yeah guys so that you don't find like your house flooded and all that so yeah guys so yeah we are just finishing up with the mopping of the kitchen so guys i couldn't i by the time the uh, i was cleaning the floors i was so tired i could not really really wash the the balcony of this kitchen so if you are not if you are not new to this channel you have seen that balcony so it's a slightly big balcony and it's really really cr crowded so yeah guys i couldn't clean it but i was done with the kitchen as you can see so yeah guys i was done cleaning and this is how the kitchen turned out so uh i can say it's a medium sized kitchen not that big but not that small like it's just a standard sized kitchen so and it has on this side it has this granite top yeah where i keep my microwave uh my dishes yes guys and this is the space where i used to make my chapels it has this draw so we found these drawers not working that well so they have broken over time but uh, i will find a fundi who is going to make them for me though as i said they are not as good quality they sh as they should be yeah but guys they they give you lots of storage for your kitchen uh, yeah guys so yeah so there is where i put my sugar i put my pan and my collection of uh wooden spoons as you can see uh, this one is the extension to the kettle yeah and my weighing kitchen weighing scale my sugar as you have seen then the extra dishes 
that I didn't want them to own the counter space I'm going to store them up there guys so there you go so that is what we have put in the drawers in the last drawer in the bottom drawer is where we put all the things that uh, should not be seen by anyone yeah guys so here is my microwave so uh, if you have watched this video closely you have seen uh, that uh, that thing that from the on the cabinets on the top cabinets that have come out so I was using the duct tape to tape it as you can see so I have just taped it because I need to find a wooden glue and stick it back yeah guys these things are never they are never quality so I don't know why our landlords never put quality things in their houses it's their house so no matter who is staying there it's your house so yeah guys this is how this counter space or cabinet looking like so as you can see we don't like we don't have spices in we don't use spices lots of spices in this house so we only have black pepper cinnamon cardamom, and cloves that these are the only three that uh, we only use three we don't use the black pepper so it has been there for a very long time so the other side we have the glasses so the glasses go to the top side yeah guys we have some uh yeah we have some flour some baby uji flour some salt and our mbazi they are still there guys so here is all where we keep our chocolates our oils uh baby medicine and all that so on top of our fridge uh, what stays on top of the fridge is the is the that part of the blender and mostly and mostly the bread then we have the uh, the water dispenser on the side of the fridge yeah guys and it has this big basin on top of it so yeah guys so that is where we keep our motokoi and we never use that stool that rolling stool i don't know whether it's called rolling stool so i use the i use the countertop for my chapatis so here is where i store my my what uh, my cereals can i call them cereals so here we have just some unga some uji flour and rice just that so here guys on this table that is where and down there we keep our onions and all that uh, the here is the cooker so this cooker is ramptons it has been around for uh, i think now almost two years yeah and it's okay sometimes we bake with it uh, we can't complain about it then there goes our gas so on top of the cooker we have i had, uh, i have soaked the the um, what the small towels that i was using so on this uh, on the other side of the kitchen guys as you can see it's the sink so the sink is next to the window and here is where I moved this rack. So what I do, I wash my dishes, put them on that rack and when they dry, I put them up on the cabinet and on the other one, on the other rack that you've seen that on the other side that is blue. So on the window is where we keep our soap, our vinegar and this, uh, this are fisher and the drinking chocolate are empty because I am finding a way or on how to recycle them other than throwing them away so yeah guys so it has a big I think it's a medium sized window I can say yeah guys and there you go to the balcony so today I'm not going to show you the balcony because it's really dirty but as you can peep through you can see my plant there yeah guys it's dirty and I'm not going to wash it today yeah so and that there is where I also keep my charcoal and all that and my uh, my jiko and all that. So this is the how the floor looks. You can see my ring light and stand there. So this is how the floor looks. Uh, it's clean. Yeah, guys. So uh, I really love these tiles. So they are not as uh, they have that. Uh, is it gray? Gray? Uh, uh, gray something? they are somehow really not white yeah guys but i find them really really beautiful yeah and that is how it looks so let me stand on the on the door to the balcony then i show you the overview of this kitchen so this is how this kitchen looks so it's not small uh, like uh, it's not as the way nairobi landlords build the kitchen so it's a little bit bigger you can even have your meals here because you can put a table 
uh, and have seats and have a meal in the kitchen so yeah guys it's not a small and as you can see it has a door you can close the kitchen and not even hear what other people are saying out there so there you go guys so the kitchen is clean so as you can see my drawers are not really well maintained so uh, i'm going to make them and see whether they'll turn out well so guys after the kitchen cleaning and tour we are going to make some food as you have seen and we were making some rice some cabbage and some egg curry so guys this is a very simple dinner idea if uh, you are lazing about cooking meals for your family you should try this one it's as easy simple and very fast so uh, for my rice I uh, just added some carrots and some salt and oil and nothing else so that is how I cook my plain rice and for the eggs I just used the tomatoes and onions the other thing that I added was a small garlic and and the other thing was just Rico cubes guys uh, uh, we don't really use lots of spices in this house so that is how we just cooked this meal so just enjoy it as we cook guys what i'm going to do i'm just going to fry my tomatoes so i'm cooking these tomatoes together the one for my eggs and the others for my cabbage together so this makes it so easy so uh, as you can see i'm adding some broth to this to my tomato so i add some broth which is uh, beef like beef broth that was in the fridge so i'm just going to add i um, added some little broth then I cook my tomatoes. So uh, I'm going to uh, after I cook my tomatoes, I'm going to separate, put some in a small furia, and add my cabbage. While the other tomatoes, I'm going to blend them for my egg curry, guys. So uh, I like blending uh, my toma cooked tomatoes other than cooking the ones that I've already blended. So this one is for the cabbage. Then for the other one after blending we just add our eggs and our royco cubes guys and we are done you you make me sing about happy things in you make my heart ring i feel just like a spoonful of joy i twirl Yeah, just 
stop singing do 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 you you make me sing so guys as you can see our egg curry is ready uh, and as you have seen our rice is also ready and our cabbage is ready so guys it's time to serve and i'm going to serve my five year old so guys try this recipe out it's so yummy you will love 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 it so also let me know how you cook your egg curry that is the simplest uh, i can do so people also add some cream and all that so let me know on the comment section how you cook your egg curry guys and it was time to serve so this was so yummy so try it out so guys if you have watched till this far thank you so much so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and let me see you on the next video so to my premier gang thank you so much guys for always always coming back to watch my videos and to support my content to my returnees, thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos every time I post them. So, thank you guys. So, this is how this food looks under the lights. And it was so beautiful and so yummy. So, thank you for watching guys. Uh, see you on the next video as we premiere. Bye bye guys.